fucking shit. <sighs> hey, uh, subscribers, welcome to the Midnight Hour Horror Reviews. Oh, sorry, we're not the Midnight Hour anymore. Sorry, sorry, I totally forgot. Um, we're the horror, we're horror punk reviews. Um, we had to change the name because of there's an old horror movie called The Midnight Hour, and I decided just in case we got pop like we rise in popularity, I doubt that would ever fucking happen. Just in case I went, I didn't want I didn't want to get sued for copyright for you today. So I, so we're now from now on we're the horror punk reviews. Pretty sure that's not taken. Pretty sure I did a quick Google search, which I did with the midnight hour, but that didn't. Fuck. That didn't, sorry, I gotta sit. I had to sit like this because, or else you won't see me. Um. But yeah, and I also deleted the old videos because they were pretty. They weren't. They weren't shitty. They were informative. But it was kind of like too much name dropping. <laughs> off my friends even though I only said like nicknames and shit people got pissed so it was kind of like okay what the fuck but whatever uh, today we're reviewing a creature flick I know what a shocker Jason reviewing a, a creature flick that was like my last five reviews so it's kind of like yeah I know uh, it's a 2007 horror movie called Primeval. Um, it's based on true events. By true events, um, okay, in Burundi, there was kind of like a genocide done by Tutsi rebels. They had, they had a mass grave, um, by a river, crocodiles ate the, Ate these bodies. One of those crocodiles got massive, like 25 feet long, um, from eating all these bodies. Apparently, uh, crocodiles gain mass by if if they eat a lot. And um, this crocodile got um, started terrorizing a village, and the local uh, village people. Nicknamed him Gustav, and um, our story takes place in Rwanda. Bur He's also filmed there. Um, the first, let's talk about the director. Uh, it was directed by, uh, I mean, the credits. Okay, uh, it's directed by Michael Kaleman. He's done mostly TV, like Smallville, Birds of Prey, other shit. Um, it's written by, where did I put the writing, shit, writers, writers, John D. Brancato and Michael Ferris, stars Dominic Purcell as Tim Manfrey, Brooke Langton as Aviva Masters, Orlando Jones as Steven Johnson, and Jurgen Prognoff as Jacob Creek. Um, you might recognize some of these names. You would probably recognize Orlando Jones, probably. Um, he was in a lot of, um, comedies, I think? He was in Evolution. And I think he was in a DMX Jet Li movie, or Steven Seagal movie. One of those. Um... Dominic Purcell, you would probably know from Blake Trinity, he played Drake. Um, he's been in a lot of TV and movies. Um, he was in Prison Break, which you probably would know. Um, and J and Jurgen Prognoff, you would recognize him from Das Boot, Dune, if you watch that Dune. Um, what else has he done? I should have looked up this shit. He was in House of the Dead, which I was going to review, but that movie, it was stupid fun at first, but then it got so retarded. It was directed so fucking madly. And I love the House of the Dead game. 
arcade game. I always play play that if I have to wait for some money at the theater because there's an arcade there and they have that game. But yeah, that movie got so shitty. I, I'll review it eventually. Um, yeah. The story is um, Tim Entry is a journalist. He fucked up uh, reports on, on a senator. Um, there was some evidence suggesting that the senator did this bad shit, but it turns out the evidence was fake. And now he's under heat for that. Um, but he's given, instead of getting fired, he's given like a second chance. Him and his friend, cameraman Orlando Jones, and a rookie journalist, uh, and um, crocodile expert Matt Collins, who's supposed to be like a Steve Irwin, but English, uh, and uh, local tracker Jacob Creek, played by Jurgen Prognoff, have to go to Brondine, capture. Gustav, a many fucking crocodile that's fucking huge as hell, and he's like, and when he, when they when the his boss asks him to do this, he's like, yeah, um, I think I'm a little equipped, a little equipped for the job, like, unequipped for the job. Sorry, and it's kind of like, no fucking shit, you're a journalist. And they say you to go fucking hunt a real life monster? That's fucked up. I would have told the boss, yeah, go fuck yourself. Um, Orlando Jones is his friend. His character's name is uh, Steven Justin. He's the comedy relief. He, he says a lot of funny sh shit here and there. Um, while they're trying to capture this crocodile, there's, I know there's a lot of these kind of crocodile Hunt movies like Lake Placid and Rogue, um, what's that one with Sam Worthington from Australia? Rogue or some shit. Um, but this one's probably the best. Even better than Lake Placid. Uh, for one thing, you have the com. This is based on real shit. Um, a lot of political messages and sh like other stuff um also it's trying to raise awareness and what's going on in Africa with like you know like Darfur, Rwanda and Rwanda I never even fucking knew there was a mass fucking mm, genocide in Rwanda I, I heard of Durfur, Durfur I think uh and Rwanda, but fucking Rwanda? I never heard that shit. Um, it's also... Not only do they have fucking the man, the fucking man-eater crocodile, which is mostly CGI. I know you guys hate CGI. I do too, but the way that crocodile kills shit, it's fucking... It's, it's awesome how he kills. It's like, they don't just show you get it, like biting someone, it shows you like the teeth squishing, like blood popping out, fucking ripping people in half with his teeth, it's fucking awesome, um, no, sorry, I'll go back to what I'm saying, um, not only do they have the fucking monster crocodile, monster croc, I was a cock, <laughs> um, they have the f okay. Um, Stephen Johnson. Um, there's a look. There's a local dictator. There's still the mass killings going on, and the Orlando Jones character, Stephen Johnson, accidentally films an, an execution uh, by dictator. And guess this. He's he's nicknamed Little Gustav. And so they have these guys trying to get get after them and shit and you actually get to see like people get shot and there's shootouts and shit and they don't for that they use practical effects they use the blips and when you, when people are getting shot it the angles are all right it it looks so realistic well i never saw someone get shot in real life but 
this looked realistic. Um, so you gotta give it, the special effects are awesome. CGI, it's not bad, it's a low budget movie, so you can't, you can't give it shit for the, for bad CGI, it, it didn't look half bad. Um, this, this movie's rated R by the way, um, there's no, there's no nudity or anything like this, it's just gore. There is attempted rape scene, um, and this is kind of a spoiler, but I thought, I thought this was hilarious. Like, the chicks, the, the rookie, um, journalist, she's getting, like, like, attempted rape, and, like, Gustav saves her. <laughs> but it's fucking retarded. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I also want to talk about the cinematography. It is great. It is beautiful. It captures Africa, like, really well. It's like I was almost playing Resident Evil 5. It, the cinematography was awesome. The acting was awesome. The comedy was good. The special effects were great. Um, the C well, the special effects were good. The CGI wasn't half bad. I know you guys hate that shit, but it wasn't half bad. Um, also, the story, there was some depth to it, it and some depth to the characters. They, these weren't like one note characters. Um, so the, like, they all had their problems, but it was like, there was some depth. They try, they did try to put some backstory in one of the, the, um, characters. Like, Matt Collins, that's the character's now, and the actor, um, he wants to capture the crocodile and put it in, like, a preserve or some shit, because it's like, uh, he said it was a miracle of nature. Well, Jacob Krieg is like, I'm gonna kill, if this crocodile tries to hurt anybody, I'm going to fucking end it. And, and Jacob's like, no, 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 Matt Collins is like, no, no, he's a, it's a, um, fucking, um, miracle of nature, it, it, it's, it's irreplaceable, it's, it's invaluable how, how we can learn from this creature, and he's like, motherfucker, he, it's a fucking man eater, he's killed hundreds of people, but he's like, ah, oh, he doesn't give a shit, the fucking PETA guy here, um, and you have the one chick who, she almost gets herself killed, and another guy just to save a dog, it's like, what the fuck, but it's like, you know, that was, that's something her character would do, like, they portray their characters, like, how, the script wrote for them, and the script wasn't good. Uh, wasn't half half bad. It was actually pretty good. Okay. Um, hmm. Cinematography. Dislikes. Well, the dislikes is CGI monster, CGI gore, and I already told you likes. Like it, interesting characters, great cinematography, funny moments, good gore. I'm just gonna go in my ring. It's uh, my song. I wanna give it. I, I like the movie too much. I wanted to give it like a higher rating, but like a must own, it it's good enough. Cause it's like I don't think I would. The only way I would watch this movie again is if I had friends or something. And even then, it's kind of like I have other movies they would probably prefer to watch. It's, it's not that great a movie, but it's still pretty good. Like I paid seven bucks for it. You'll probably get it around the same price. It's well worth your time. It's not too slow in pace. It's not too fast. It's a great watch. Um, so that's all I got to say. See you later.